the unparalleled landscape, vast resource, and seemingly limitless possibility of the West has been a powerful draw for thousands of years. The West is this fantastic place. Ethos is this fantastic idea and um, value about being American. Images of the West and of the scenes and landscapes of the American West helped uh, contribute to an idea of American identity that was distinct from Europe. When there was nobody here, the West was a distant place for human beings. And as native people are here, that it becomes their reality. And then, you know, it becomes the job of storytellers to begin to present the West to people that hadn't been here. Our understanding of the American West today is really this combination of imagination and reality. Artists have always played a critical role in shaping this idea of the American West, springing from their images of the landscape and the people who inhabited it. They have created this myth of a special place of rugged individuals carving out a place for themselves. For those who have come, the West has provided challenge, opportunity, refuge, conflict, and inspiration. Tacoma is born out of that random choice of this particular point on the earth where a transcontinental railroad reaches the Pacific Ocean. To win that lottery and then to have that city just pop onto the scene is just an amazing thing. If you were to try to find the epicenter of the West, where would it be in the 1880s? The end of a journey to the West would be Tacoma. The story of the West, after all, is a story of movement and of uh, coming across unfamiliar lands. The story of the West I had learned uh, long before I ever got, came to the West. The whole interest started to find out about the history of the West. Through Karl May, who was a very famous German author, that made me hungry to get to see this and to experience it myself. My husband and I, we share one thing, we are terribly curious. So we made it to America and never regretted one moment of it. With rapid growth came the need to harness greater resources and the desire to preserve the natural beauty of the West. The art museum is connected to the community that it serves. The art museum is the cornerstone of the art offerings in this community. The Tacoma Art Museum sees itself as an institution that wants to ask bigger questions about our communities, uh, the people that, that inhabit them. The, the idea is not so much that we're sharing artistic treasures, but letting people see themselves in the art that's in our galleries and tell stories about who they are. The Howe family collection connects to the existing Northwest collections at TAM um, in many of the themes that define these artworks and in just providing a, a larger context for the Pacific Northwest. As Erevan and Helga Howe began spending more time in the American West, they really were drawn to this place and to these landscapes, and, and I think that's when they became really interested in the artwork and in depictions of this place and how artists were inspired by the same sites that they found so compelling. 
After purchasing their first painting of the American West, Erevan and Helga were really inspired to continue seeking out other artwork. We did not collect with a vision of ever giving that to a museum. That's how it all started. We only collected what we liked. As the Haubs were building their collection, they were guided by people who owned uh, prominent Western art galleries, particularly Christine Mulring and Gerald Peters. They are art fanatics too and art collectors too, and they really taught me about painting. These experts helped them to meet contemporary artists, and they helped shape this collection and guide this collection into the really incredible group of artworks that it is today. During the modern age, the West influenced culture, grew by millions, and was home to innovations that changed the world. Historically, Tacoma was the city of destiny. And then it became the city of disappointment. And whatever it is that we developed as a community historically has stayed with us to this day. And we use and stand on those historical references uh, to, to move forward. And over the last 50 years, we have morphed into the city of dreams. It's a city that is beautifully situated. It's properly scaled to be able to really focus on cultural, educational, intellectual development. That's the path we've chosen, and um, it is extraordinary. The Haubs got together as a family to think about the future of the collection. And among the possibilities were creating their own museum, giving it to a local museum, or a place that had deep meaning for them. And that was Tacoma. I thought that one day I would be able to thank the city, thank the community, and thank the people of Tacoma for what I have experienced here. We thought Tacoma is a wonderful place to come and have the collection here. And I feel that our paintings will be well taken care of and loved and appreciated. And uh, it's a good feeling. Many of us will always look to the American West to find inspiration satisfy our wanderlust, or to simply be amidst the beauty and power of the natural world. When you look at this artwork, you can see that it's more than the one-sided place portrayed in a lot of popular culture. And we're hoping that this artwork will inspire new artists and will spark conversations about the complexities and the environmental and social issues of the West. A collection like this, I mean, being able to look at the, at the way that the West has been recorded over the last couple hundred years, I think that helps us fulfill our responsibility to tell our story, the story of our time and our place. Artists change the way we see the world. And so when we hold collections for future generations, we have to be very mindful of what we take into the collection because it also reflects who we are and who we see ourselves as. With the addition of the Hub Family Collection, we now have this opportunity to really understand who we are and why we're here in the American West. <laughs>